Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be my guide on how to use and set up the new Hori um, wheel that comes for Farming Simulator if you go ahead and purchase it. Um, it's a very cool setup. It was designed by Giant Software or designed by Hori in partnership with Giant Software uh, to work specifically for this game. So it's a wheel, pedals, and a little um, kind of control arm and side setup that I'll show you in a second, which is pretty cool. Uh, that was designed specifically for this. So first we're gonna go through how to set this up, get it all working on your computer, and then we're gonna jump into Farming Simulator and actually test it out, and I'm gonna show you kind of just how it works, just kind of the basics. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into that. So um, what I have in front of me here, the wheel, is very easy to set up. I'm gonna show you kind of, there's a part on the back of it, which actually I'm gonna swing my camera over here to my side desk here just to show you real quick. So this is the side panel. Now the back of the wheel has the same setup, which is gonna be this uh, product right here. So you see part of my face over here. Apologies, look at the side of me for a second. But um, so it has this, this back on it, on the back, and it has this setup here. The same setup for the wheel. The wheel has the same thing that you're kind of install. Um, and it's easy to tell which one goes with which because this one won't fit on the wheel and vice versa. So this basically just sits in the holes right here on the back. Very simple, very straightforward like that. And then you're gonna have some long screws like this that come with it. They're gonna put just down in there. And then I have my other ones that's gonna go just down in here. And these guys, you're just gonna get them to screw in here. If I can get them to, there we go. That one started there. There we go, that one started there. So um, then you're just gonna screw these guys in. And then next I'll show you how to put another piece that's gonna go through here. Um, that's going to be to be able to mount it to your desk. So again, it's very straightforward, very easy to set up. This is just literally just straight out of the box. This is kind of how it comes out. So um, it's not anything crazy or anything difficult to set up or get going. Um, it's very easy. You're also going to have some quick setup instructions that are going to come with it when you do get it. Um, those are going to kind of walk you through the quick way to kind of easily set it up here. Uh, now this piece here, you're going to pop this top part off just like that. Then you are going to screw this just through here. And once you get it just a little bit of the way through, you can see just a little bit of the way through, this is just gonna pop right back on just like that. And then if we go over to my desk here, this is a really cool setup here. I love this thing, this thing is fantastic. And you have a very long cord as well. You can see this cord is actually really long that comes with this. So um, now if we move back over kind of towards my desk over here, um, what I can do is I'm actually just gonna set this up right next to me right here. If I slide that on the desk and just under here, I'm just going to tighten this until this gets onto the desk and all nice and tight. It just slides right on, easy to use. And that's set up, so now I kinda have my, my wheel control and set up like this. Now this, um, you can run it however you want, just for the time being, just to save a little time. I'm not gonna run it behind my desk, I'm just gonna run it off to the side and then right over to my computer, which is down below us here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get that run over here um, in just a second. So if I do that, I'll throw that over there, I'll get that hooked up here in a second. Now another thing to note too, um, with the wheel and stuff like this, if I take this wheel off of here, just to show you, you can see the pedals are right down here, just below me, right down there at my feet. Sorry for all my mess down there, all my cords, but that's where the pedals are at. So uh, from the wheel, the pedals are gonna hook up into the wheel and the wheel has a separate cord that's gonna hook up to your PC. This controller setup over here has its own cord that individually hooks up to the PC. So this hooks up to the PC, this hooks up to the PC, and then this hooks up to the wheels, or excuse me, to the pedals. So uh, very straightforward. But if I take this off just to show you something real quick, again, look at that, easy to come off. Um, this little piece right here is gonna be for the pedals that are down below, that's just gonna hook up. So I have that running down below the back there. So uh, I'm just gonna get this set up on here. I'm gonna get this plugged in and then I'll bring you guys back in here just a second and we'll start um, getting all the hardware, or excuse me, the uh, software installed to get this thing up and running for you. All right, so as you can see, I have it all hooked up now. I actually did run the cord behind just because I figured that would make it easier for me. Um, so that's all set up now. Now, when you do get your quick start guide, it's gonna tell you to go to a specific website. It has one for, I believe, Europe and one for the US. It makes you go to the correct one for you. Um, so you're gonna go to that website. And I'm actually gonna show you that website right now just so we can be a little bit easier here. So here is what the website looks like. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click this button here to download. It's gonna walk you through the process here. And then it's gonna open up the app here and you're just gonna plug all your stuff in. And if you need to, make sure you update the firmware um, for um, your product if you have it as well. Now, if I pull up the actual app itself, here it is. Here you can see I haven't done anything yet. I've just uh, automatically plugged these guys in and it just reads them automatically. Uh, now, Hori was kind enough to get these guys all set up for us. I don't have to do a firmware update or anything like that. They made sure it was all set up and good to go for uh, me to use. And by the way, speaking of that as well, um, I'm not getting paid anything to say anything about this. So anything I say that's negative or positive, that's my actual interpretations. Hori isn't making me say anything to you guys. I'm not being paid by them. The only thing that they've done for me is provide me the wheel, pedals, 
and the control stick for free. So that's all I have for you guys there in terms of that. But yes, let's go ahead and hop in the game and we're gonna go ahead and test these guys out and go ahead and start using them. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the kind of key features about them. All right, so now that we have our wheel all set up and good to go, I'm gonna show you guys just a couple of basic features of it um, and explain a couple of things you might run into. And by the way, um, this setup here is um, $399.99 to buy, which is actually a really good deal for what you get when you get uh, when you think about getting the controller set up here, as well as the wheel and the pedal. So that's actually really a, really a screaming deal um, for this kind of setup here. Uh, one thing I've noticed with the pedals when you are using them, make sure your feet are on them, always they might slide around on you, so just be aware of that. Um, and another thing too, so obviously I've done a video on the uh, Thrustmaster farm stick before. If you switch from that to this or switch from a different controller to this, make sure you have the other controllers unplugged and then also go into this menu here and reset all the controls by hitting this right here. So reset them all to their default settings. Um, that way it picks up the new controller you're trying to use. Even if you have the other one unplugged, it still kind of causes some issues that I ran into. And if you watched my first impressions video, you will know that as well, which that one will be coming out as well uh, soon, which that's just my raw take on trying this out and testing it. So um, a few things to know, we're in a vehicle here. I'm on my Frontier save. Um, so obviously it can run it with the pedals and stuff like that. I'm just gonna show you a few basic functions to start in the engine. And you can remap on this screen right here, you can remap um, all the different controls however you want. So you can remap them any way you want. You can change them how they are. Um, you just go down here and hit uh, gamepad and you can change any of the functions to whatever you want. Now there's a lot of combos in here. We have to hit multiple things. So just be aware of that. So a few things I've noticed, if I actually hop out of this vehicle, which I can do by hitting four right here on this uh, pad. And the other way to hop in and out of vehicles is over here. I have this control right here on the uh, stick, which is kind of, I know it's kind of hard to see uh, what I'm doing on the camera that you guys are looking at, but that's right over here is gonna be hop in and out of vehicles, the bottom of these set of three black buttons, and over here, number four on the wheels gonna get you in and out of vehicles. So walking around, I can use these joysticks that are on here to walk around, um, which is really nice. I can use this button to get hand tools out and do sorts of things like that if I would like to. So you can use, you can do kind of whatever you'd like with this sort of stuff here. Um, now, if I get back in this vehicle here, to start it, below these two sets on the bottom of the wheel, there are extra buttons. There's one other button. So in order to start this, I have to hold down this right button and then hit the four, which is the same button I used to get in and out of the vehicle. And now my van is on. Now, turn signal, you do have a turn signal stick here. So if I, oop, if I pull it down towards me, that's gonna be left. If I go up, it's right. Um, the other cool thing you can do with this is if you, well, to turn it off, you're gonna turn it back up the same way. So if I wanted to pull out in the traffic here, I could do that. Then turn my turn signal off, if I can figure out how to do that. Now, other thing, if I pull, if I twist this forward, this knob forward on this turn, so it's kind of hard, sorry, I apologize, my camera. Over here, there's a knob on the side of the wheel. Down and up is the, the turn signals. Uh, if I twist this forward, it's gonna cycle through the different light features there. If I go backwards, it's gonna turn the beacon on. This vehicle doesn't have a beacon, so there's not a beacon to turn on, but that's how you do it. The other way you can do it is over here on this controller over here. Um, this first one will toggle you through your lights of these three yellow buttons at the top. The second one will turn your beacons on and off. And the third one will turn your flashers or your hazards on and off, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, I'm still learning the buttons. So there, that's on load right here. That's just one thing you can do. So again, I, I am still learning these buttons very much so as I am using this. But I just want to show you guys some of this and the basic features and everything like that. Now driving works very well. Um, the one thing I like about this too is if I go to a full turn this way and I need to straighten out, I just let it go and it straightens out fairly effectively. There's a little bit of a bounce there, which you'd have to kind of counter if you'd like to, but it doesn't really shake your deck at all, or your deck, your desk at all or anything like that. So it's a fairly smooth, oops, I'm gonna back off of that there. It's a fairly smooth setup. Um, so again, if I go just all the way over here, I would all the way turned, which would be all the way turned there. If I just let it go, it doesn't shake my desk or anything like that. It's pretty smooth. Now, a smaller desk, it might shake a little bit, but it actually recenters pretty pretty easily. Um, it feels really good. It feels a, a little cheap, maybe, but still, I think that's just because you can feel the seam right here on the wheel. That's the only thing I think that makes it feel a little bit cheap, but otherwise it feels pretty high quality. You obviously have your horn, which you can do here, and you can also do on the, oops, that turns me to the map. I apologize, wrong button. Uh, how do I hit my horn on here? Oh, top button. This one right here, but you can get in the map here, which is great. Uh, I can also, with these green buttons, first one's gonna open and close my help menu. 
Uh, the second one's gonna toggle my map in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, the third one's gonna pull me into the map here, which you can't get back out of, unfortunately. At least I haven't figured out how. The fourth one's gonna take me into the build mode, if I'd like to do that. The fifth one's gonna take me into the store. And then the last one's gonna take me um, into the, the map screen here as well. Um, and again, you can adjust those to what they do so they can do different things for you and everything like that. Um, now, if I hop over to something else, let's get into this guy right here. Perfect example here. Engine's already on in this bad boy. I can use the joystick to toggle. I also can use these controls up here on the joystick to look around a little bit differently if I'd like to, but I can toggle and use this very easily. So if you're doing some pallet work, this would be a very easy way to do it. I can just scoop up or do whatever I wanted to do. I know there's no bucket on it or anything like that, but it still is pretty straightforward. Um, now this button I haven't figured out quite yet. This one turns glowing if you hit it. Um, but, uh, yep, and there's also these turn signals right here. You can use them um, on the side here if I look around at the back. That'll get me left, right, right there, which is pretty cool if you wanted to do that, so. Yeah, but the controls are fairly intuitive, especially for the basic ones. The only one I actually had difficulties really figuring out was how to start the engine. <laughs> that was the one that took me a while because I wasn't thinking it'd be a combo button, uh, but that's my bad on that, so. Um, and also to tab between vehicles on this controller right here, On this is kind of the throttle, which I haven't found a good use for this yet, but um, the bottom left one and the upper right one across from each other will tab you between vehicles. You also can tab on this, on your steering wheel going back and forth here, between these two buttons the left to right. So if I tab over, let's get to like a, a harvester here, uh, which is great. And let's, uh, let's go over there and let's start our engine. And let's head over there and let's uh, do some... I also should be able to zoom in and out too with this here. Up and down is going to zoom me out. That's going to tab me left and right. But if I zoom in and I can change my angle here. And also on uh, this one over here, I believe it's this button. Oh, nope, sorry. You can hire a worker with that button. But I can go in and out of the cab with the one on the left here, which is number 25. And number 30... It's gonna hire a worker if you wanna to try to do that. But if I go into the cab here, I can still look around in the cab as I'd like to. I believe this is, yep, so this button right over here, which is number 27, is gonna be how you're gonna turn your, whatever you're using on or off. So if I turn that on, I can do that pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna get out of in cab there uh, for a second. I'm zooming out. I'm trying to do everything as possible. I usually use keyboard and mouse, so uh, this is definitely a little bit different for me to use this. Uh, but yeah, after you get this all set up and good to go, it's pretty straightforward. So I come around here, I can turn this on and start harvesting. I like to do that. Got a lot of soybeans to harvest on Frontier. But there we go. And then over here on this bottom left-hand side, uh, there's three black buttons on the right-hand side, which are they numbered if I look over there? Yep, 8, 9, and 10 are the buttons. Number 8 is going to put that out for you. Um, number 10 is also the other one that gets you in and out of the vehicle. Let me turn my... Oh, there's no header attached. So that's, sorry, part of the about that. Looks like 9 is going to be your, your ability to attach and detach things. There we go. Very nice there. Turn it back on. And back up and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's fairly self-explanatory. It's pretty straightforward, really good to use. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's probably one of the best deals in terms of everything. Um, and for what you get, the controls, with all the different control options you have over here, um, you have just a lot of options to be able to do stuff and drive around and um, get things figured out the way you want to do it and how you want to farm. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to wrap this up, just to give you guys kind of an introduction to this and how to use it, how to get it set up. So hopefully that was good for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. I may not be able to answer all of them, but if it's a question I know the answer to, I will, uh, I'll be able to answer it for you. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.